everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new hey boo but if this is your second third fourth fifth sixth however many times you come back thank you so much for coming back so in today's video i'm going to be doing my winter hygiene routine i'm super excited when i first started my channel i did um feminine hygiene tips and uh, that wasn't a good video i really want to delete it but Today I'm back and I'm better and I just wanted to show you some of the products that I use to stay fresh throughout the day and I really hope that y'all enjoy it. Be sure to follow me on my social medias. It'll be on the screen and it'll also be linked down below and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, so I already did my skincare routine so go check that out if you're interested in how I keep my skin clear even though I'm starting to break out because you know you know if you're on this video you know I'm just gonna show y'all what I do when I get in the shower okay so before I get in the shower one of my wax ladies which I get waxes Brazilian waxes yeah so she told me that you're supposed to actually exfoliate when you're dry and that makes sense because I feel like when you exfoliate when you're wet it's just like the water and the beads they just mesh together my lights be too bright so it won't pick up on it but this is the frosted sugar cookie and this is the best smelling one that I've had like I've had like four or five of them but this is the best okay frosted sugar cookie and it smells so good honestly I feel like I want to try a different brand of exfoliating stuff my girl Athena she got hers and I'm really excited to try hers it's called body alert click the link down below and go shop with her but I'm gonna try hers and this is just the one that I've been using for years. I exfoliate with my hands actually. Like when I use the gloves, I feel like it just gets on the gloves and I didn't, well I haven't learned how to like wash it out. That may be childish of me, but I just, I don't like that. I'll use this on my legs, my armpits, and my, we're gonna give her a name today. That's gonna be our friend girl, okay? So her name is gonna be friend girl because yeah, but I use this on my friend girl and Yeah, it gets the job done smooth skin, you know, so then when I get in the shower I'm not the type of girl who just uses body wash and then I'm good. I feel like body wash is just for scents and like I just gotta wash with a bar soap first. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out, but I have to like it won't focus if the light is too bright. This is the Dove um, Pink Bar. And I use the Sensitive Skin one too, but I just ran out of that. So I have this, and it smells so good. It smells so fresh. And yeah, Dove is just perfect for sensitive skin, any kind of skin. And then sometimes I wash my face in the shower, but it's just like I'll put the stuff on my face and then let it sit while I do everything else. And so then after I wash with the bar soap, I feel like my routine is like super simple. I shave. And so, like I said, I get my friend girl waxed. Yes, friend girl has to be waxed. I stopped shaving because I used to get really bad razor bumps and scars and stuff. Waxing is better, but honestly, it doesn't eliminate anything. Exfoliating helps, but it doesn't fully solve the problem. I shave my legs, my thighs, which is a part of my leg, whatever, um, my armpits. Yeah, I just use a skin to mist shaving gel. This is in the Coconut Delight, and honestly, it smells so good. But I kind of like the Equate shaving gel better. I don't know why, but I just... I don't know but this is good too you know it's it does what it needs to do and I have the blue one and I have the pink one I don't know why but for my armpits using the razor with a lot of blades gets me more ingrown hairs that may just be me I don't know but for my armpits I just use this little two blade one yeah it's nothing special about this and then for my legs I have this razor that I got from like TJ Maxx and it has four blades and I just shave with that. I'm not gonna pay no $10 for no razor, I'm sorry. It was like $5 and it gets the job done. So I just use that on my legs. But after I shave, that's when I try to go in with like the smell good stuff. 
and sometimes i will use like bath and body works or whatever but for my winter stuff i haven't really been using bath and body works because i have to find my stuff like i came from college and i just don't know where my shower gel is for now i like all my scents to match of course the bar soap doesn't but this overpowers it anyway so i have the dove pampering shea butter and warm vanilla and it smells so good it smells so good and so i just use this on a loofah and then i also mix it with the caress shea butter and brown sugar and it just i just smell good i smell great like don't play me but these two together are great i love it honestly i would love to sit here and tell you these smells last all day like you can just shower and it just you're gonna smell like that for the rest of the day but i wouldn't know that because of what i do when i get outside of the shower which i'll get to in a minute but for my friend girl my friend girl my girl my friend yeah okay so for her i use this thing called cookie wash you see it and it's an all-natural feminine wash and it's unscented so that's great but I've tried Dr. Bronner's I've tried honey pot I've tried Dove and this is my favorite one like very affordable I love it and then and I just bought the bikini batter and I haven't used it but it's supposed to help like brighten the area and stuff it's called pretty cookie so i'm gonna uh, try it and all you do is mix the powder with water or apple cider vinegar let it sit and boom it say give it about two months and do this like one or two times a week but i would like give an updated one well i'll give an update whenever i try it but yes get you some best thing ever okay cookie wash okay specifically for your cook so with that i use a white towel because using towels like this the dye will get in your stuff and you don't want that and i don't put it inside okay i use a white towel and on one side i use it for my girl my friend girl and then, oh all this lint and junk but on the other side i use it for my butt i'm not gonna be childish and we just we're just all adults young adults whatever but yeah i use that side for my butt and then also whenever i'm washing um with the bar soap i use one side for my body and then i use the other side for my feet because i feel like your feet get dirty and then you just like yeah the soap is on it but I just feel like that's nasty. Like to have it on your feet and then just like re-scrub and stuff. I don't do that. So I just use one side for my feet, one side for my body, and then one side for my friend girl, and then the other side for my butt. That's just how I am. Everybody may not be like that, but yeah. And then when I use the loofah, I don't use that on my foot. Okay. But yeah, so two towels always do that white for your friend girl okay so that's really all that i do in the shower unless i'm washing my hair or whatever but this is not a hair video so when i get out of the shower that's when all the magic happens after you um why can't i talk after you you after you exfoliate you're supposed to moisturize and so to moisturize my my girl my friend girl why well, i keep forgetting her name my friend girl i use bio oil and this is specifically for scars and stuff and so you're supposed to use this two times a day it's a little expensive i ain't gonna lie for this little bottle it's like ten dollars and the thing with these products if you want to get rid of scars and stuff you have to be consistent with it i got this from target literally like ten dollars i hear on amazon that they just be using fake ones so i went to the store and i got like the real version i want to get the like big bottle but i ain't ready to spend twenty dollars on the on a normal day i will use jergens enriching shea butter and i use this like if i'm just finna go to sleep and i don't care if i want to smell like roses and flowers and stuff so like i said i like my smells to be consistent and so this smells good but i just use this for the rest of my body even on my feet and then specifically when i shave 
I'm putting y'all on again. Black on business, okay? So this is the Marcy collection, and this is the brown sugar and vanilla. I love using this after I shave. It smells good. It lasts a long time, and my legs are super shiny, and I just love it. Like, you don't even have to use that much. Like, I used it quite a bit, and yeah so it smells so good and i love you girl so when i want to smell like super duper 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 good and i'm going out or whatever i use victoria's secret rich vanilla lotion this smells so good and it lasts for so long like you know bath and body works and victoria's secret stuff they don't always last that long but this smells so good and like I said, uh, consistent smells. And then I have the body spray as well. I don't think they sell this anymore. I think this, ooh, I think I got this a couple years ago for my birthday, but I still have it. it smells so good. Like, don't just please start selling this again. But this smells so good, and I just use both of these. So. I just use this on my legs and my arms because the body butter or the moisturizing lotion will work better on my feet and like moisturize better so that I don't have no crusty feet because you know I'm a dancer, you know? It's just something about this. Something about vanilla. It's bomb. Like, yeah. And it's perfect for the winter. So then, the last thing, if I'm wearing like a skirt or whatever, I know I said winter, but. I use the Johnson Shea, Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel and this just helps to shine your skin. I don't use this often because I don't really wear skirts or nothing, at least right now, but it just does what it needs to do and you be shining, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that is what I do. That is my winter feminine hygiene routine and I just love smelling good. You know, if you don't like smelling good, I don't need you to do something about that. But smelling good is great. It's great for you. It's great for the people around you. I forgot the most important thing. I use the secret powder fresh deodorant so that i'm not musky okay this is what works for me i haven't tried dove in a long time but i know that dove like didn't work for me when i was little so this is what i've been using and it's the invisible solid <laughs> please use okay but this is what i use uh so that i can stay fresh and yeah like oh and then I realized that like right after I shave my armpits, if I don't put on deodorant right after, it'll be okay. Like if I'm shaving before I go to sleep and then I don't put on deodorant, I don't really get bumps. But then if I just like immediately put it on there, that's when skin starts getting irritated and stuff. But that is the end of my feminine hygiene routine for the winter. And I really hope that y'all enjoy. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave a comment down below and help somebody out with your favorite products and remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too and thanks for watching.